All right, so now we uh, have a brand new Droid X. Um, we're ready to activate the phone. So let's let's get everything going. All right, so on the Droid X, which is what I have, uh, the way you actually turn the screen on, you see it's blank. The way that you turn the screen on is on the top. You'll see that uh, button there. Let's go ahead and push the button, and the screen will come on. And it says, touch the Android to begin. I see that little hand there. We'll touch that guy. And then it'll have another screen that will come up here. And at the bottom it says activate. We're going to press activate. And I'll turn on the speaker. You just have to hit option one. Whoops. I hit the wrong. Alright. So, yeah, option one is what you're supposed to hit. All right. Thank you for calling Verizon Wireless. Goodbye. So it's going to go through. It says phone is activated at the top, and it says next at the bottom. So I'll hit next, and it says learn how to use your Droid X. Pretty much know how to do it, so we're just going to hit skip. Um, right here it says set up your Google account. If you have a Gmail account, you just sign in with that. If you don't, it's really easy to do from the phone. Um, I do have a sign in, so I'm going to go ahead and sign in. You hit sign in. Um, so for the Droid X or any Android phone, see there's no keyboard right now, and the Droid X does not have a keyboard built into it. So the way they actually bring up the keyboard is you touch in the box where you want to type the text, and you see it popped up there. Now it'll also get bigger if you turn it on its side. You see that's portrait, and that's landscape. The keys are a little bit bigger, so I'm going to go ahead and type in my Gmail address. And my password. And I'm done. And I'm going to hit sign in. And it says signing in. I hope I type my password right. And you can see the bars are kind of moving there. It says it can take up to five minutes, but it's pretty quick normally. So we'll let it run through its process. Um, while you're doing it, there's a lot of great apps out there that uh, you can download. We'll kind of walk it, walk through, um, you know, what are the best apps and stuff like that when you're first starting. Um, we'll kind of go through that together. So it should be about done here. Maybe. <laughs> All right. So it says use Google location. Um, I would actually, and whenever your phone goes to sleep like that, all you have to do is hit your home button. It'll come back on. Your home button is a little house right there. Um, so use Google's location with your approximate so yeah you want to make sure that that's a green check right there hit next backup data yeah we'll go ahead and back it up make sure a green check and hit next use your Google account is now linked to this phone so you're all set there hit finish setup and it's going to go into backup assistant which is a Verizon wireless thing um, if you don't have it, there's no problem. I'm going to enter my PIN and hit Done. And then hit OK. And it's communicating with the server. Should be about done. All right. So we're going to skip. We're going to hit Done Adding Accounts. I'm going to not do any more right now. And you'll see... Uh, this is kind of the default home screen. Uh, when you first have it pop up here, there's a couple of things that we'll talk about. Um, the first is this top thing is just tips and tricks. Um, it's all right. I think it's kind of boring, so we're going to throw it away. Now, the way that you do this is you touch it until it turns green. 
or see how it's green now and I can move it around and there's a trash can that appeared at the bottom so I'm going to drag it down until it turns red you see it's red I'll let go and it's thrown away it's not deleted off the device it's just off of my home screen now I can add I want to delete the browser as well I didn't delete my internet I just deleted the icon so I can add things by just touching and it comes up with this screen here okay and we're going to add a Motorola widget and I want to add the calendar and that's my Gmail that's my Google calendar and I hit done and it adds my calendar if I don't want the calendar I just throw it away it has quite a few different screens all right so the big things to remember kind of Android 101 this is the same way with pretty much all Android phones your menu button home button back button and search okay menu is either going to be boxes or lines I know you can't really see it here home is a house back is a back arrow and search is a circle with a line through it okay so your menu is going to bring up your menu on any screen that you're on see I'm on your home screen so it brings up that if I'm on Gmail or if I'm on maps let's say All right. So if I'm on maps and I hit menu, another menu for just for maps will come up. Okay. So we'll, we'll talk more about Android phones and kind of uh, the basics of it. But that's how you get your phone activated. You can use your phone now by um, that little phone right there. If you touch it, it'll bring up your phone dialer. And if you want to go back to your home screen, just your house button, the little house. Touch that and it goes back. The list guy over here is your contacts. And you can see they're all there. And this one in the middle is all of your settings. Now if your screen ever goes blank, all you have to do is either hit the house or the button on top. So the house will turn on your screen and you just unlock it. Alright, again my name is Solomon. It's kind of Android 101 here. So uh, we'll talk to you later. Have a good day.